Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Just six more days until no sleep season returns, guys. Why? Get some rest, because the crypto sector is going to experience an explosion of excitement and exhilaration that will keep you up all night long. The official approval to commence trading for the Hong Kong Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs was given on April 30th, thanks to Justin from Watcher Expert. It all starts up again next week on Tuesday, I promise. This is so familiar from the Bitcoin spot, exchange traded funds in the US. Alright, it seems like we have a lot to discuss. At this time, how are you going to be bearish? Just how are you going to exactly how bearish are you all? I fail to comprehend. It's strange that individuals are trying to get out of the crypto world just before things are activated. Yes, exactly. This has happened before, too, since, you know, those pesky rumors that get passed about an order to sell news stories happen every once in a blue moon. Am I correct? This happens quite seldom. That is, if you buy a rumor, you might as well buy the news. Am I correct? Since the funds have not yet been deposited, it cannot be considered priced. Now we can talk about money, and they mean it. On April 30th, a Bitcoin ETF with $230 billion in harvest funds will begin trading with no fees at all. That's right, big asset managers with hundreds of billions of dollars are going to turn on their spot Bitcoin ETFs, and they're going to fight over these fees, too. Let me get this one out of the way, they will, of course, be competing with the United States. I see. Are all of you prepared? Are you all prepared to start bidding? For the simple reason that those same individuals purportedly bought Ethereum ETFs on the same day. Why do you ask? The Element Ether, my goodness. All of them, not just Bitcoiners. When this happens, we know that the season is about to start. The news from HBAR or BlackRock sparked this, and we've only just witnessed the spark. That's weird, isn't it? Am I correct? Here we have Bitcoin and the Hong Kong spot because exchange-traded funds will only serve to inflame the situation, won't they? As a result, prices will rise. Things are about to become insane now. With the Ethereum exchange-traded fund, ETF, the price of Ethereum will soar to new heights. Why? For the simple reason that a theory requires far less liquidity than Bitcoin to induce price increases. Yes, exactly. This is precisely why Ethereum is going to burst, you guys. The Ethereum chart has just come into view. There is a clear indication of extreme bullishness. Guys, it's clear from the chart. It is already possible to predict what is to come. This news is unnecessary for us to see. Or stories like these. Since the charts consistently display news, don't they? You can see what's coming up next, guys, on that page. To top it all off, the timing couldn't be better. Worst case scenario, Ethereum pumps, and our valued XRP follows suit. Am I correct? For the same reason that XRP is now getting ready. It's about to burst, you guys, it's simply collecting energy. Everything is about to go haywire, and I have no idea why. It looks like it will be a couple months before it enters, and I have faith in a black swan. A swan in black appears. This is where we stop. As an example, let's go back to the beginning and write it all the way up to 26. Six of the digital assets and investment products have already been certified, all that remains is for them to go live, gentlemen. The rifle's release is time to coincide with ACS ongoing battle to have an Ethereum ETF approved. A few weeks ago, Satar Charter Bank changed its prediction on when the ETFs will arrive. Therefore, the market will likely not witness the Ethereum offering's arrival in May. However, the men from that side of the globe will assume the lead at this point. I see. It follows that the United States, in order to avoid falling behind in international trade, should join forces with Gary Gunther to defeat Cryptus. They are making an effort to catch up, but perhaps that's why XRP is so important. Am I correct? It is impossible to say. However, all I need is approval from the Etherion meetings, before I can go reside in Hong Kong. 
Oops, it will bolster the storyline for America to join me in living proof of the theorem ETF, and you guys are ETFs, too. So far, everything is going swimmingly, you guys. A verdant hue is approaching. I am incredibly thrilled. Am I correct? My excitement level is through the roof. I feel compelled to add this as well. Okay, so Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs, in the US were legalized. Then, there was a sell-off, due to lack of knowledge. Now, we're going to take an average. After the ETFs were approved and began trading, Bitcoin experienced a significant increase of almost 75%. I understand. It does appear something similar to this, by the way. Yes, this section. And the current situation appears to be quite comparable, as we should ideally be at this stage right now. I see. Now we need to consolidate for the next leg up. Assuming we are correct and a 70 to 75% increase occurs, the price of a Bitcoin will reach around $113,000, give or take. Am I correct? I cannot comprehend. People are unprepared for this change, yet again. You guys are incoming, aren't you? It's the portion that's crazy. Do you not find it insane? Not a whole lot, really. Hold on a second. You can observe the way it's solidified. Am I correct? This is the end of the road for the ETFs. The situation is becoming more stable. The ETFs are now in the process of going operational. For the simple reason that, even if you ignore all news reports, the charts still point to this kind of move being imminent. Well, that concludes our video. Like and subscribe as usual, and feel free to leave a comment with your opinions. Coming up shortly, farewell.